Hi, everybody. Adam Atwell here, Microsoft uh, MVP, Cloud Solutions Architect at Quake Technology Group. Uh, we just got done doing our Azure Virtual Desktop and Windows 365 webinar where we did an overview of both technologies and some comparisons around them. And I wanted to take a few minutes to do a driving tour of what Windows 365 looks like. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Uh, you can see here, this is showing you the Windows 365 landing page. You can get to it from uh, windows365.com or windows365.microsoft.com. That'll bring you here. Um, you do have different uh, plans and pricing uh, around uh, your different needs. These are the uh, business PCs, right? And you can see uh, the standard is about $41 per month. And it's just a simple uh, monthly commitment, right? You can also go through this help me choose a scenario picker and it'll ask you the right questions. You know, do you need do you need to manage uh, your devices with Intune? Well, I would hope so. Uh, so you say yes there. Um, do you, how many PCs are you shopping for? Well, we're just looking to get two or three. So we're going to go with uh, 10 or less. And then, you know, uh, which of these products are you already licensed for? Well, we have Intune. We do have Microsoft 365. We do have Windows 11 and 10. And then, of course, we have Office. If we go next, um, are we doing desktop apps? Are we doing web? Are we doing a lot of a line of business apps? And so, yeah, we're doing that, not this high processing stuff. Um, and then are we talking about two, one or two apps at a time or two or more? So we'll just go with that one or two. And then you drive that to the next screen and it tells us, well, hey, um, you do have the ability to go ahead and get the Windows 365 Enterprise SKU at uh, $41. So you can go through the buy now process and it's a simple purchase process. When it's all said and done, you end up with, as you can see here, a, uh, you know, a cloud PC. And then from here, you can go ahead and uh, if you click off to the side, there's a download button. When you do that, you have the ability to download you know, the Windows 365 remote desktop client. Um, now we already have that downloaded here. We've got it from the Mac App Store. Um, if you open up the Mac App Store, you can see this is what it looks like, but we have already opened it up. I'm gonna actually go through the setup of what that looks like for you guys so you can see it firsthand. And so first thing you do is uh, if you just click this subscription URL, do that. After you've done that, click in here to the remote desktop and there's PCs and workspaces. You had an add workspace, you paste that URL in, it's gonna find the feed. And if you click add, the first thing it does is it asks you to sign in. I'll use my email here. After you've done that, you can see it does ask you for your password and that's great, I'll do that. And then of course it is giving us uh, one of these authenticator prompts. Um, and so I will go ahead and Authenticate here with a big yes. Now, once you've done that and you've completed the multi-factor authentication challenge, it does go through and it shows you the same exact PC. And so you can engage in this either in the browser or uh, through the local re um, remote desktop app. And so I'm going to go back to the browser experience and show you what that looks like to connect. Now, I have already authenticated. I will click open in browser. And then from there, it's gonna go ahead and it's asking me, do you wanna go ahead and bring along your printer, your microphone, your clipboard? You know, are there any other things you wanna do? Do you have an alternative keyboard layout? And we're gonna say, yeah, bring those things along and go ahead and connect. Now, again, because I've already authenticated with Microsoft 365, it just goes right in and it's gonna get me my cloud PC. Now, I haven't logged on to this thing yet today. And so um, you can see it does take a moment to go ahead and configure and connect, which is great. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, just kind of check things out, clean up that desktop a little bit, and that looks fine. Well, let's say that I want to go ahead and um, kind of go full screen on this, right? And so uh, I'm going to close out all these crazy things. And you can see here there's a full screen button. Uh, there's also a way to upload my files. So let's say I wanted to go and take this picture here and upload it to my cloud PC. It says, hey, it's in um, Windows 365 virtual drive uploads. So I'll come over here and I'll take a look for that file. And so 
uh, under this PC. And then there's this virtual drive, which is great. This virtual drive has an uploads folder. And well, sure enough, there you go. Um, there's my you know little picture, and that's awesome. Um, so we could also do the full screen experience, like we talked about that, and that's what the full screen looks like. And then in addition to that, you can also come in here and uh, you can do, you know, kind of some other things. If I come out of the full screen, you can see there's some other options here, right? You can, um, you know, do high DPI. That's, you know, a higher, higher screen resolution, right? Um, we, and now you can see already um, this is this is already looking a lot clearer, right? A lot of folks don't know about that, um, but this does really provide quite a different visual experience. And you can see I'm just clicking around here, you know, um, on these different portals and everything, and it's just loading things right on up. Uh, so that's just a little uh, quick little take, that same experience. Um, let's just say that I leave uh, this open here on this computer. If you come over here and you go to Microsoft Remote Desktop, we are already authenticated. I'll go ahead and double click here. Now it does, of course, uh, authenticate again, and I will go ahead and type my password and then hit go. Now, when I do that, it does go and it'll uh, load into that remote connection. Now, some people would say, well, why, you know, why would you go ahead and do that? Now you can see it picks it up right exactly where it left off. And here I am in this experience. If I go and I uh, open up this interactive guide and then I come up here and I disconnect from this you know, experience and I hit reconnect, um, you can see when I do that, it's going to pick that computer right up where it left off. And in addition to that, it takes me to the screen where I was at on it. So that's a little bit about it. Um, some of the flexibility you get with the remote desktop client here is you can actually uh, edit the connection um, and name it. In addition to that, you can use custom settings when you go in. So let's say I want to use all of my monitors, right? You can do that. And then I'll double click. And when I get connected in, once I'm connected in a second time, um, then now I have two screens. So this screen, you know, I can show off to the side, right? And so I'll drag it over here. And now it's on my other monitor. And if you come in here and you do a display settings, you can actually see, um, you know, there are different, uh, you know, different options here that you get, right? And so um, the display settings, it's saying it can't be changed from a remote session, but um, you can actually see uh, my, my computer over there. In addition to that, you can see the printers that I've redirected, right? And so that's just a little bit of a quick tour um, for the Windows 365, and I hope that's been valuable for you guys. Again, you can uh, connect with me on LinkedIn and look out for a future video on Azure Virtual Desktop. Hope you're doing well. Take care.